This video explains about renowned Mr. Rugavesh Shivgan, who is chartered financial analyst and a notable alumni of PMS Department, Patkar Varde College. Sir holds an MBA degree with more than 13 plus years of dedicated experience in the volatile financial market. Sir has worked with leading organizations like National Stock Exchange, IDFC, MF, CRISIR, and now Sir is a faculty of financial markets, a proprietary trader, and also runs a stockbroking firm named as Trade Swaraj. In nutshell, Sir is committed market professional with objective of bringing real, positive, and sustainable wealth in every individual trading lives. So now we will see story of Mr. Rugit Shivgan Sir through BMS Department presenting Yashogatha. Hi everybody, this is Rubesh Shivgan, a proud alumni of uh, Partner BMS and uh, now the founder of Great Swaraj. I'm very glad that Partner BMS gave me this opportunity to share my overall experience from student to entrepreneur. I am also, I also congratulate uh, Partner BMS team to start this new initiative of Yashur Gata Shades of Innovation uh, to give more clarity to students and bring them more closer to the ground reality in corporate and the entrepreneurial life. I am from 2002 to 2005 batch, almost 20 years before from now. Last of in 2005, with the vague idea of being specialized in HR. I started doing job in HR because I thought that there I want to build my career. But uh, in one year time, I realized that this is not my cup of I want to do something else. So I took an admission in MBA. I did my MBA finance. I did CFA. And then eventually I landed up in a job with IDFC Mutual Fund as my first job. And then I started my overall interaction with financial markets. So when I go back 20 years, I realized that I was thinking of HR and I started doing job in financial markets. I think that could happen with, that almost happens with everybody because at the age of 20, you are not actually not aware of what are the opportunities, what are your skill sets, what are your abilities. So I believed in my own abilities and I kept on searching and exploring. Then uh, I did solution fund, then came a dream job of my life, which has to talk the same. And then I worked six, seven years in different departments on different fronts. I realized that maybe the financial market is the area where I want to explore more than the crystal. And then there was a turning point in my life that I felt as if now I want to do something else, I want to do something on my own. Because in every job, there are always some restrictions. And you do not gain freedom. And I was actually uh, hungry for freedom to do something on my own. I wanted to set my own rules, I wanted to work in my own fashion. And I think the only choice what I had is to give up everything and start something on my own. That was the most challenging time of my life. Then in 2015, I thought of giving up my job, thought of starting teaching as a visiting faculty. Again, the partner came in my life, that partner college, I approached partner BMS and uh, uh, then uh, the Swati uh, Dr. Ma'am was uh, the coordinator, she is still a coordinator. And she believed in my ability and she gave me my first opportunity as a faculty. And I actually utilized that opportunity later on. I started teaching in all 8 10 colleges in Mumbai. And I'm still as a visiting faculty with few colleges. So, Pat gave me that first uh, opportunity. Now, in a couple of years before, I also set up my own uh, firm, this is Trade for Art, which is a broking firm. And uh, there, my new journey is started as a broker, as a trader. So, this way, my overall journey unfolded. And if you could see that, there is always a one partner with me in my entire journey, and that is the partner BMS. Right? And now, after 16 years, I'm talking to you guys, I'm talking in front of you. That is also in one of the initiatives sent by the Partner College. Right? So I always, always believe that whatever minds what I've covered, one of the minds is always a Partner Yes. I'm really great. Thank you. What made me to start Trade Swaraj? In my opinion, everything unplanned can work out beautifully in my life. 
further said, was planning for HR, got into financial markets, then that became my career. I was working with NSE and Nicholson, but I just started teaching and the passion later on that is my career. And then the proprietary trading I started, and I had no plans of starting in Dubesh firm because I always wanted to be a proprietary trader in my own zone, own, trading on my own and making money and trading for money. But over a period of time, I realized that what is the what is the use of my knowledge, my skills, and my experience if I'm not able to use it for the benefit of others? And I also realized that there is a huge section of the society in my surrounding where people need a genuine advice, people need a guidance, but they are not getting it. And if they are getting it, I think there is a lot of misselling, or there are premiums which are charged. So I said, now this is the time when I have to use my own skills for the others. And I believe a lot in joy of giving. And there came an idea and a thought of a trading initiative called as Straight Swaraj. And the tagline or motto of my firm is taking trade beyond money. For Trade Swaraj is a trading initiative which I started a couple of years before. And the reason for starting a broking house is because that's the only way through which I can cater to retail clients, open their accounts and help them in building the portfolios. A trade Swaraj started with an expertise in positional trading. Though we offer all sorts of products, but currently are uh, the domain expertise in positional trading. But we also have ambitious plans of getting into all other uh, products like mutual funds, insurance and uh, other debt instruments. And uh, we also have plans in couple of years to set up our own branches. And going forward, we also have plans of registering ourselves as a broker. So we have long term goals and we are uh, pretty sure that we'll achieve that. And the reason we believe that we'll achieve it because we have a very pure intentions of serving to the client. A client's goal or client's interest is what matters us a lot. And then everything that is our brokerage, our commission, our revenue is which comes later to us. And that's what we have believed throughout that we have lived upon in trades for us. And so I'm 100% sure that there will be a day when this small brokerage house will be listed as a big financial firm uh, on one of the biggest platforms. So if you guys are wondering that how to build a career in financial markets, how to be a broker, how to be a trader, I think it's a very interesting question to answer. Because fortunately or unfortunately, there is no fixing this. But let's talk about first some of the technical requirements or the eligibility criteria. If you want to initiate your career, in trading or in financial markets. Uh, as for compliance, as per the regulations of CV, you need to clear some of the certifications. And those basic certifications are from NASN, or uh, that is that National Institute of Securities Market, right? Where you have to do some basic qualification certifications like uh, certifications in capital market, certifications in mutual funds, certifications in derivatives, and certification in PMS, which is now the added one. Uh, as well, if you want to uh, do something in currency derivatives or commodity derivatives, you have to do those restricted certifications of those uh, particular domains or the segment. So, once you do this NASA certificates, right, you are eligible to work as a leader or you are eligible to work as a salesperson to sell or promote or market any of the financial products. These are just the technical qualifications. If you really want to be a leader or a trader, it's a very long journey what you have to cover. You need to be knowledgeable enough. You need to experiment a lot. I think the first thing you want to do is you have to open your account and start trading. Irrespective of which you make money or not. That's the first thing. So the second thing is you need to experiment a lot. You need to read a lot, explore a lot. And apart from that, what my personal experience is, market is a random place, more of a volatile place. There is nothing is certain. There are no formulas which will define it. And there are no information which would actually let you know about what exactly is there in the market. What is more important is how you manage yourself, how you manage your mind, 
right? So your wealth is dependent on your health and your money. And the one more thing which is I guess a prerequisite to be in the market is ability to believe in yourself, ability to believe in your call. Many times nobody knows about the market. But sometimes we believe somebody else knows better than us. But the reality is nobody knows about the market. So you need to believe in yourself. You need to take this at that point of time, right? And whatever is the outcome, you have to take it gracefully and you have to learn from that experience. If it is failure, learn what, what mistake you did, try not to repeat it. If it is success, just be graceful that this time you were lucky and your method worked out. Okay, I think these things you have to keep in mind if you are a trader. I don't know how. Capable I am to, uh, you know, to present in the Gata, but I think I am a right person if you rename it as a Sangarsh Gata because my life has always been a struggle. So I have always felt some challenge, challenges in my life, and I would like to take the challenge because markets are another place where if you, if you do not take the challenge, you will not end up making money. You cannot be conservative, you cannot be productive, and you will not make money. So let it be market, let it be my life, personal life, financial life. I always have preferred the challenges and talking here in front of you guys is also kind of a challenge. But I've taken it and I'm sure that some good, you uh, know, uh, some good outcomes will be there out of this. So that is what is the importance of the challenge and I, I suggest and I request all of the students that whenever you find a challenge situation, always choose that option rather than choosing a very comfortable and easy go option. Because whenever there are challenges and difficulties, that will make you much better person tomorrow than today. And whenever it's the easy option, probably you might become, you might live a very static in the static If I really have to share some suggestions or on the basis of my experience, limited experience, I think there are a couple of things which are, which I never compromise in my life. Uh, being in business or being in a personal life. Uh, but the first thing is, you should be passionate about what you do. So do not do it only for sake of others are doing it or this profile or this career is doing good, so I will also do it. Do it whatever, but you should be assured that this is what I like the most. Even that profile is not in demand, but if you love it, I think you should get into that. Find no one. Always do it what you feel is right for you. And then what about what others feel about. Point number two is now that it's a social media uh, era where people believe in 20 seconds of reads. But I believe that in any business, what is important is the trust. And trust can be created over a period of time with the kind of service and the kind of uh, services you deliver to your customers. The most important is trust. So you need to rather building your business, rather building your revenue. You should focus on how you can build a trust between you and your clients and your uh, other uh, intermediaries. Third thing is you need to take care of your health, you need to take care of your mind, you need to read a lot, you need to experiment a lot, and that will make you better as a businessman and a trader. Fourth thing which I wanted to highlight is. Nowadays, a lot of petrol competition, people only focus on the cost while delivering a business. They think that if I offer a cheaper product, I'll be able to gain consumers. But then there's somebody else will come and will offer even more discount and you will lose the customer. So your way of offering product is not the cost. It should be the quality, what you offer it to your customer. If you offer quality, then whatever would be the cost, the customer will come to you and will get service. In India today, what people are deprived of is the genuine quality service. And I think that is the one area where we can work upon. And if we really focus on that quality area, then the rest of the things will be taken care of. One more thing which I want to guide and what I want to tell all the young students is always have a long-term objective and perspective in your mind. Do not focus on the, the short-term gains. Right? Always have a long-term clarity. Always be very ethical and value oriented when you do your business or when you do your activity. And always be grateful to Almighty, to your parents, and in the condition what you are. Always be thankful 
that wherever you are, if you are happy in whichever condition you are, right, the future would be even better than what you are today. So you need to take off your, uh, you know, the spiritual uh, aspect, you need to take off your educational aspect, and you need to also work upon your skills. And if all these things come together, then it builds your overall character, right, as a businessman or as a professional. And you'll be known by your character. Once you're known by your character, no one can replace you. And once you become irreplaceable, whatever would be the conditions in the market, it could be recession, it could be growth, it could be pandemic, there will always be a demand for you as a professional business. I wish you luck and I wish that you all will emerge as good entrepreneurs, technical entrepreneurs, right, and good professionals. Thank you. Love you.